डॉक्टर बाबासाहेब आंबेडकर मराठवाडा युनिव्हर्सिटी अँड एच आर डी सी जॉईंटली ऑर्गनाइज्ड अ रिफ्रेशर कोर्स इन ॲडव्हान्स इन्स्ट्रुमेंटेशन अँड ॲज एन असाइनमेंट हिअर आय एम गोईंग टू रिप्रेझेंट अ कॅरेक्टरायझेशन टेक्निक फॉर नॅनोमेटेरियल्स माय रोल नंबर इज इलेव्हन सो लेटस स्टार्ट विथ द सिंथेसिस ऑफ नॅनो मटेरियल सिंथेसिस ऑफ नॅनो मटेरियल इन डिवायडेड इंटू टू पार्ट्स टॉप डाऊन टेक्निक अँड बॉटम अप टेक्निक द टेक्नॉलॉजी विच इन्वॉल्व्स द ब्रेकिंग डाऊन ऑफ द बल्क मटेरियल इंटू नॅनो साईज स्ट्रक्चर ऑर पार्टिकल्स इज नोन ॲज टॉप डाऊन टेक्निक फॉर एक्झाम्पल हाय एनर्जी वेट बॉल मायनिंग इलेक्ट्रॉन बीम लिथोग्राफी ॲटॉमिक फोर्स मॅनिप्युलेशन सिमिलरली द टेक्नॉलॉजी विच रेफर्स टू द सिंथेसिस प्रोसेस विच बिगिन्स विथ इन ॲटॉमिक ऑर मॉलिक्युल लेवल ॲटम्स ऑर मॉलिक्युल्स ऑफ द रिक्वायर्ड मटेरियल ऑर लाव टू असेंबल टील साईज ऑफ द मटेरियल गेस इन्क्रीज टू द रिक्वायर्ड ॲनोमीटर रेंज इज नोन ॲज बॉटम ऑफ टेक्नॉलॉजी फॉर एक्झाम्पल ऑर्गोनोमेटॅलिक केमिकल रूट रिव्हर्स मिसे रूट सोल्जेल सिंथेसिस एक्सेट्रा सो दिस फिगर शोज द बॉटम अप अँड टॉप डाऊन बोथ ॲप्रोचेस ओव्हर हिअर सी हिअर दिस इज द बॉटम अप ॲप्रोच हिअर द असेंबली असेंबली फ्रॉम नॅनो बिल्डिंग ब्लॉक्स इज कन्वर्ट इन टू द नॅनो स्ट्रक्चर मटेरियल अँड वी गेट द बल्क मटेरियल दिस धीस गिव्ज द टॉप डाऊन ॲप्रोच दॅट मीन्स फ्रॉम द बल्क मटेरियल इनिशियली वी गेट द नॅनो स्ट्रक्चर मटेरियल विच इज देन कन्वर्टेड इन टू दी नॅनो बिल्डिंग ब्लॉक्स सो दिस प्रोवाइड्स द बॉटम अप ॲप्रोच इन दिस डायरेक्शन अँड टॉप डाऊन ॲप्रोच इन दिस डायरेक्शन नाऊ लेट इस मूव टुवर्ड्स दिस स्कॅनिंग इलेक्ट्रॉन मायक्रोस्कोप दिस फिगर शोज द स्कॅनिंग इलेक्ट्रॉन मायक्रोस्कोप दिस फिगर शोज द स्कॅनिंग इलेक्ट्रॉन मायक्रोस्कोप विच क विच कन्सिस्ट ऑफ इलेक्ट्रॉन गन कंडेन्सर लेन्स हिअर वी हॅव द स्पेसिमिन दिस इज द स्कॅनिंग कॉईंट स्कॅन जनरेटर सी आर टी अँड ॲम्प्लिफायर द की कॉम्पोनंट ऑफ सॅ स्कॅनिंग इलेक्ट्रॉन मायक्रोस्कोप आर इंडिकेटेड इन द डायग्रॅम ऑफ हिअर द इलेक्ट्रॉन रिलीज फ्रॉम द हिटेड फिलामेंट आर कॉमनली यूज इन द इलेक्ट्रॉन मायक्रोस्कोप दॅट इज शोन इन दिस फिगर हवेवर अ कोल्ड कॅथोड इज समटाइम्स एम्प्लॉईड ॲज वेल वेन अँड एक्सट्रेमली हाय इलेक्ट्रिक फिल्ड इज अप्लाय टू अ कोल कॅथोड इट इमिट्स इलेक्ट्रॉन अ फिल्ड इमिटर इज अनादर नेम ऑफ फॉर इट द फिल्ड इमिटर सेम्स आर टाईप ऑफ सेम दॅट कॅन प्रोड्यूस बेटर इमेजेस दॅन हॉट फिलामेंट सेम्स हवेवर एफ ई सेम ऑफ दिस टाईप इज लेस फ्रिक्वेंट दॅन द सेम विथ अ हॉट कॅथोड द बॅक स्कॅटर इलेक्ट्रॉन आर ऑल्सो नोन ॲज सेकेंडरी इलेक्ट्रॉन्स आर स्पॉटेड इन अ स्कॅनिंग इलेक्ट्रॉन मायक्रोस्कोप द बॅक स्कॅटर इलेक्ट्रॉन्स आर स्लाइटली फोकस ॲज अ रिझल्ट ऑफ द फोकस बीम कॉन्टॅक्ट विथ द सॉलिड रिझल्टिंग इन द लोअर रिझोल्युशन दॅन एक्सपेक्टेड इलेक्ट्रोस्टॅटिक ऑर मॅग्नेटिक लेन्सेस इन अँड इलेक्ट्रॉन मायक्रोस्कोप कॅन फोकस द इलेक्ट्रॉन बीम टू अ व्हेरी स्मॉल स्पॉट साईज इलेक्ट्रोस्टॅटिक लेन्सेस आर कॉमनली युटिलाइज इन केस ऑफ सेम अ स्कॅन जनरेटर स्कॅन्स ऑर रास्टर द फाईन बीम ऑन द सॅम्पल सर्फेस on the just here as shown in this figure okay sample surface and back scatter electron are captured by a suitable detector the image of sample surface is created by combining the signal from the scan generator here that is shown over here with the amplified signal okay which is given over here from the electron collector filament and a sample must be kept in a vacuum chamber to prevent oxidation and contamination as well as to limit the collision between air molecule and electrons let us move towards the next type that is trans- transmission electron microscope that is known as stem that is shown in this figure the figure shows electron source here condenser lenses here we have the sample objective lenses okay uh, this is a back focal plane of objective lens okay 
the transmission electron magnifying instrument is a great for examining the nanomaterials as very high goal is conveniently utilize it as the name suggests the electrons are sent through the example in this microscope electrons of very high energy are used which passes through the phase as uh, phase uh, magnetic lenses as in as in nanoparticle or same discuss earlier interaction of electron with issue was additionally outlined in the figure as shown over here the fundamental part of tem are electron source condenser focal point target lens diffraction lens intermediate focal point projector focal point and a fluorescent screen uh, screen sorry in the provided request there might be some extra focal points in the various magnifying instruments or further develop for the picture quality and goal the focal points are electromagnetic whose center lengths are fluctuated to get improved picture as opposite to moving the focal point themselves as is done in the optical magnifying lenses so let us move towards the next point that is scanning tunneling microscope that is shown in this figure as the name purpose the filtering borrowing magnifying lens depends on the borrowing standard at the point when two metals say m1 and m2 are brought at little distance as shown in figure despite the fact that their fermi level don't occur uh conquer move of electron from one metal to the next is unmagnetable to move electron from one metal to the next it is essential for the electrons nearby the fermi level to conquer the potential boundary known as the work capacity of material commonly the work element of metal are not many electron volt and move of electron at room temperature but b that is may the metal act acquired very close distance of request for a couple of nanometers act in a unexpected way electron electrons as displayed in this figure can move from one metal to the next to set up the typical fermi level without going over the likely set by the work at the brief distance of not many nanometer the wave function of electron from one side into the other metal as a such electron can borrow from one metal to the next to involve condition of lower energy this causes fermi level of two metals to corresponds of a little contact potential this reduces the barrier height but changes are still small and barrier are sufficient large for the energy needed by electron to conquer the energy boundary is still extremely high and not got by applying the potential however electrons can borrow the borrowing likelihood or elect current relies on assess accessibility of unfilled states in metal where in electron stream and distance between two metals fermi level points can be modified by applying the little voltage between the two metals the metal m1 which is associated with in okay that shown in here this third figure some potential is applied okay this is utilized in a uh, sorry the metal m1 which is associated with the advance adverse terminal of the four supply has raised fermi level regarding the other metal whose fermi level is brought down this is utilized in stm that is shown in this figure now let us move towards the next point and that is x-ray diffraction that is xrd xrd is used to study the surface structure okay we are unable to see the objects around us as a light is scattered by objects and enter in our eyes similarly x-ray is scattered by atoms unable us to understand about the arrangements of atoms in a solid as early as in 1912 von leeu postulated that x-rays are waves and distance between the atom in a solid are comparably to the wavelength of x-ray then they should be diffracted by atoms in a solid 
when we say x rays are scattered by atoms we really means that they are scattered by electrons of atoms it was shown by jj thomson that if unpolarized unpolarized x rays are incident on a free electron located at the origin o the scatter density at point p p is given as i is equal to n i raised to 4 there are different types of x ray diffractometer available for crystal structure analysis same can be used for nanometer analysis the most commonly used diffractometer is known as powder diffractometer or debeshera diffractometer after its inventors these diffractometers conceptually simple and allows quite an accurate determination of crystal structure of polycrystalline sample thin films and nanomaterial the this figure shows a schematic of extra diffractometer which consists of monochromator of x-ray okay this is the x-ray tube that is monochromator source of x-ray usually from a copper target or anode giving cuk sample holder okay here we have this sample holder and x-ray detector this is what x-ray detector and this is a monochromatic x-ray beam both sample and the detector move around and access passing through the sample center and normalize with the paper sometimes sample heating cooling facilities are provided okay this is the xrd arrangement which is used to study the crystal structure of nanomaterial next it is what next point is optical absorption spectrometer that is known as ultraviolet visible near infrared spectrometer the experimental setup in the principle is very simple a high intensity lamp as shown in figure uh, giving radiation from ev to nir region is required a microchromator oh, sorry a monochromator selects different wavelengths which falls on the sample depending on its property the sample reflects or absorbs certain wavelengths and transmit in the rest the transmitted intensity at different wavelengths are detected by photo detector and given as an input to a recorder to computer when the monochromator signal corresponds to select selected wavelengths falling on the sample are the signals of x axis and photo detector signals of y axis absorption plots above, above figure this figure illustrates the schematic of spectrophotometer so with this i am going to finish my seminar over here thank you very much